Hey guys, it is Tell with Oshawa Bushcraft. Now, over the years, I've shot more than a few videos on the Canadian Forces 82 pattern rucksacks, and more than a few times I think I've said that an important mod you need to do is to swap out some of the buckles for uh, quick release style buckles, because it'll make your life a lot easier. Now, I think at least a few times I said, I'm not gonna shoot a video on that, because there's already lots of videos on how to do that to an Alice pack, just go find another one. So, recently, I was looking for a video to share to the group and after reviewing a bunch of the videos on YouTube, I found out that many of them are not very good and some of them are downright terrible. So that is a problem we're gonna to rectify today. Uh, I'm gonna to show you guys a quick and easy way to properly swap in a set of fat, uh, quick release buckles onto a rucksack. I am aware that there are repair buckles on the market made by different companies with this exact purpose in mind. Uh, I've used them in the past, I like them. They usually cost you a few dollars more but generally you get a very high quality buckle. And if they're locally available to you and you can pick those up, they're a good deal. But I do appreciate some of our members might not want to fork out the extra money for them. Or I really appreciate that some of our members are from rural areas and they're not gonna be able to find those buckles locally. So this mod's for you guys. So some of the mods I found videos on included adding a quick release buckle to the existing buckle by stitching it on with some webbing or by zip tying two buckles together or by unstitching the webbing on the pack to remove the buckle to replace it. But while that's not a bad option, uh, it's a lot more work than we need to do. This way is going to be much easier. All we're going to need to do this mod today is uh, a set of needle nose pliers. They could be large or small. Uh, your Leatherman or Gerber multi-tool probably work just fine. Uh, a pair of these. Uh, some people know them as wire cutters or side cutters. Uh, they could be large or small. Uh, need a pair of those. And we're going to need uh, two quick release buckles. As far as the buckles themselves go, almost any one inch quick release buckle is going to work fine for this. Uh, your local fabric or sewing store, sell them to you for 99 cents, surplus store too. Uh, they don't even have to be new. Uh, your surplus store will probably have some salvage ones they took off of broken equipment, or you can do it yourself. If you have an old gym bag or an old tool bag, or maybe your kid's old backpack when you get them a new one, uh, cut two buckles off it, you're ready to go. The first step of our mod is going to be remove this old buckle. We're going to take our side cutters, and we're going to snip our buckle out just above and below where the straps are attached to it. Then, just wiggle it out. Step two is gonna to be to prep our new buckle. We're gonna take our side cutters and we're gonna put a little cut down here in one end. I'll show you where. Can you guys see that okay? I put a cut in it about an eighth of an inch in from the end uh, on a diagonal. So step three is gonna to be to take your webbing loop and force it through that cut we just made in the buckle. Now how you do this is gonna kinda of be up to you. So what works for me is to force the tip of your needle nose pliers in here just to get that buckle opened up a little bit so you can get that webbing started. You just gotta get it in there. Okay. Uh, once it's in, hope you can see that okay. Grab it with the needle nose pliers and just continue to walk it in. Your last step is to lace up the top of your buckle and you're done. I want to say that was a two minute mod, but I don't think that even took two minutes. So looks nice and clean. We didn't have to mess with this stitching down here and it is perfectly strong. The whole buckle will come apart before that cut in the bottom ever opens up. So there you have it guys. This has been the quickest and easiest way to install or replace a standard quick release buckle. Uh, if you're working on a project, I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, thank you for watching and as usual, uh, go outside. YouTube will be here when you get back.